foul plays done fucked it up <laughs>How's it going guys, it's Foul Blazing here today. We're going to be doing a little bit of an update video for Gold and Silver. Here's a little bit of something that you probably didn't already know. Foul Plays. Done. Fucked it up! Yes, yeah, so I actually ended up losing all of my webcam footage from the past four episodes. So all of those four episodes were already recorded. And what ended up happening was... I don't know where the files are. They somehow got deleted when I was emptying out my PC, and I don't know where my face game files are. So that means that my mic footage, my gameplay footage is still there. I That's what we're going to be doing with this episode. I have all of Shallow's footage, but pretty much what this, ep uh, this little mini little shindig that we'll call this is pretty much just going to be a recap of the whole entire series, so... Hopefully you guys are okay with that. Uh, I'll be showing footage. Don't be worrying about that and all that. I'm, you know, all that that useless stuff. You know, you're here for the Pokemon Gold and Silver randomizer cage lock quality content. And that's what I'm going to provide here for you boys and girls today. So, without further ado, let's go into the first episode that we had to scrap. And I believe that was episode number... Correct me if I'm wrong, 10. So in the first episode, we had the Team Rocket little hideout hill that's in Golernrod. And we pretty much just took on the whole entire area. We, we did fine. We did perfect. And we ended up beating the thing that happened in there. And we ended up doing really well. And then we went and grabbed our legends, which, uh... It was pretty damn funny. So Andrew knew how to get to the bell tower, but I didn't know how to get through the bell tower. And I knew how to get through the world aisles, but Andrew didn't know how to do the world aisles. So it was pretty damn funny because both of us are like, okay, do we go this way? No, that's not the way that we go. Oh, we go this way. So we just decided to end off the episode there. It, it was a pretty funny episode. I will say it was pretty funny because we were both just sitting there arguing our asses off. So with this episode, it was pretty much just a legend episode. We both had already sped up and we pretty much just went and grabbed all of those encounters uh, for the legends. And then we had the bell tower encounter and then we had the world islands encounter. In the end, our legendary encounters were actually trash. I believe he had a Doduo and then I had a uh, Dawn fan. So it was... Uh... It was not some legends that we wanted, but ended up we just said fuck you and then we went and made our way towards the Blackthorn City gym. That's where we ended off the episode. I think I also got a little bit destroyed in the next episode in between grinding, so. In the next episode, we managed to get our gem badge. Hurrah! We did it. In the next episode, which was actually the finale episode, we ended up doing a little bit of something fun. So we both were pretty much done with that series and we were just like, you know what? Let's make this interesting for you boys and girls. Whoever makes it to the end and beats the champion uh, ends up being the cage lock winner. And it was looking good for me. And then I made it to Lance and Lance ended up taking out my whole team and I ended up fucking up and then Andrew was Andrew was actually struggling boys and girls he had one Pokemon if I'm correct one fucking Pokemon and he beat the late four and the champion with that one Pokemon and thus he was crowned the cage lock winner my face i'm pretty damn pissed off so andrew i'm coming for you season three it's my season see this face it's gonna kick your ass i'm coming back for ruby and sapphire randomized cage lock 